So now that I've introduced to you the definition of a derivative, which is really just what we were doing to find instantaneous rate of change in the slope of the tangent, because derivatives are instantaneous rates of change and slopes of tangents and slopes of curves. That's not anything new other than the word derivative. But because derivative means a slope, we can now talk about where do slopes exist, where do they not? And there will be later videos that go deeper into this. This is just a very basic introduction to this idea that slopes can exist and slopes cannot exist. Uh, but if the derivative, in other words, if the slope of the tangent or the slope of the curve exists at the point of tangency, then we say the function is differentiable at that point. We can also abbreviate that DIFF. And that's okay as well. So if you prefer to write it, abbreviate it like this, that is acceptable. If the, fun if the derivative exists for the entire domain of the function, then we say that the, it is a differentiable function. So if it exists at one point, the function is differentiable just at that point. If the derivative or the slope exists for every point in the domain of the function, then it's a differentiable function. So if we see the phrase differentiable function, that's already telling us that the derivative or the slope exists everywhere in the domain. Uh, 